Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so, so, so excited because I am gonna be sharing with you all of the things that I have bought here at Disney since becoming a cast member. I'm so excited, I've got so, so much stuff. So grab some snacks, grab a drink. It's gonna be a long one. So if you've seen my hauls before, you know I like to split them up um, into different categories. So this one I'm going to just kind of generalize where I got things at. I'll still be saying the stores um, if I can remember. But um, my first section is going to be um, everything that I've gotten at Walt Disney World. Um, so the parks, resorts, Disney Springs, all of that jazz. And then next I will be doing... Um, stuff that I've gotten at Cast Connection, which if you don't know, Cast Connection is a store where cast members and their family and friends can shop for um, just like just merchandise at a discounted rate. Um, a lot of it is discontinued, so right now they have a bunch of 2019 merchandise um, since they can't sell that in the parks anymore. And then um, along with Cast Connection, they also have this place called Property Control. It's just the next room over. And that's where you can get furniture, pots and pans. Um, whenever they redo, whenever they um, renovate a resort, a lot of the furniture goes there. Um, you can also find like artwork there um, from inside the places. So it's a pretty cool place. I'm not gonna show anything I got from there, but I just wanted to add that little thing in. And then my last section that I'm going to do is stuff from Mickey's Treasures, which is a part of Cast Connection, um, but it is just for cast members. No family and friends are allowed. And that is where um, all of the damaged merchandise goes. So um, cast members can purchase damaged goods at a very, very discounted rate. Um, and a lot of the stuff, it's really hard to tell what's wrong with it. So it's a pretty good place. I love it. But that's what's happening. So let's get started. All right. So everything's going to be on my phone. That's why I'm going to be looking at my phone to get all the things. But my first purchase as a cast member, first time using my discount in the parks, I'm always going to remember it, uh, were these Illuminations ears. Uh, they light up can't really tell because of the lighting but they do light up um and I was so excited I love getting ears I love getting new ears as you can see part of the ear wall um but I got these um uh, Epcot is my favorite park and I got to see the last eliminations which was really cool so I got these at mouse gear for $28 um plus my discount but We'll just give you guys the normal price. So, yeah. Next thing I got was this Halloween lounge fly backpack. It's super, super cute. I love it. I use this every day. I got it in August because we start celebrating here at Disney World. We start celebrating Halloween in August. I got it in August. I used it every day until Halloween. It's so cute. Um, I believe. I don't know how much it was originally. It might have been 75. I got it for 62 with my discount. I don't know how much it was originally though, but I got it at the World of Disney store in Disney Springs. My next thing that I got, I also got, um, going back to the elimination stuff, we'll just do all of that together, even though I just kind of messed that up. But I got this shirt, the Illuminations Farewell shirt. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but I got it at Port of Entry in Epcot. So it was one of those little stores, just like at the start of the World Showcase. Um, next, I got, going along with the Illuminations Farewell, I got this pin. It's still focus. There we go. Illuminations Farewell pin. Um, I don't remember. My sister actually bought it for me when they went back in stock because they sold out really quickly um and then they got them back in stock right around the um actual last elimination so that was pretty great that i got to get one of those um my next thing that i got is um 
this Tomorrowland windbreaker. It's, it says Tomorrowland on the sleeve. It's the purple wall. It's adorable. I love it so, so much. Um, and the fun thing is that I got this before I found out uh, any of my fun news. If you haven't seen my new location roll reveal, then go check it out. Tomorrowland is a big part of my life now. Um, so I didn't know that when I was buying it, but I'm so excited. I was debating between this one and the Fantasyland one. So glad I got this one now. So it's pretty lit. Pretty great. Um, it was, I believe, I believe it was $50 originally and I got it at Mouse Gear in Epcot. I spend a lot of time in Epcot. Um, next, I got this BB-8 pen. It is, um, it says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on it and it is one, it was in the Countdown series. So right before Galaxy's Edge opened, they did a Countdown series of pens. Um, and I got that one because it is BB-8 and BB-8 is my favorite. Um, also along those lines, I got, um, the actual Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opening pin. It says Star Wars Landing 2019 Galaxy's Edge, and then this thing goes back and forth, so that's pretty cool. Um, I got this one at Pin Traders in Disney Springs, and then I got this one, um, in... I believe it's called Once Upon a Time at Hollywood Studios. It's that store right on Sunset Boulevard by um, Tower of Terror, on the way to Tower of Terror. Next, what else did we get? Um, also, going back to Epcot, I got this um, Food and Wine Festival pin. So, so cute. Um, I got that at Pin Traders in Epcot. So, there's that. Um, what else? Oh, one of my first purchases. I actually bought this before I became a cast member, so I didn't get the discount, but it's okay because I really like it. I got this Powerline pin in Disney Springs at Pin Traders. Um, if you don't know, Goofy Movie is my absolute favorite movie of all time. It's the best movie on the planet. It's amazing. And so I had to get Powerline because goals. Next. Also, you know what, we'll just stick with the pin thing. We'll just go with all the pins. Um, I can tell you how much this one was. Um, this is the 20, well, not, I mean, yeah, I guess 2019. But um, this is the Skyliner pin. Um, we, I got to do the cast preview the very first day that they had it. Um, so that was pretty cool. So I got this pin. It says, the we'll see the world from above inaugural flight 2019 and it was $18 and I believe I got that at that store right outside of Epcot by the Skyliner entrance if you're coming in that way it's that little store I don't know what it's called sorry uh, going along with pins I got to go to the Halloween party and since Maleficent is my absolute favorite Disney villain of all time I got this one um, it was $18 because it says so on the back and I got it at um, the Frontierland Pin Outpost store. I don't know the exact names of these stores, so this is gonna be really great. But I got it at the Frontierland Pin store. Um, oh, when it glows in the dark. Did not know that. It's cool. And then the little pumpkins just kinda slide back and forth to reveal all the little guys. Um, lastly, in my pins, oh my goodness, I forgot. Oh wait, no, that's at Castle connection never mind we'll go back to that um but i also went to the christmas party a couple times i went three to be exact and then i worked plenty of them so i got this um christmas party pin it's got mini on it and it was 18 dollars as well and i got that at the frontierland pin trading store too um also i don't know where this one's from but uh, my sister got it for me and it is the Christmas Day pin because I had to work Christmas Day. I actually worked 12 hours on Christmas Day, but you know what? That's okay. I'm going to celebrate Christmas with my family um, later this month, so that should be super exciting. But yeah, this one was $17, and it just says Christmas 2019. It's got Mickey and Pluto, and how cute is that? So yeah. Um, I have a couple pin boards, and then I have a cast member pin board where I put... Um, 
all the like all the things that I got to work so I really wish I could have gotten another Halloween party because I did a lot of treat shifts so that way I could put the Halloween party pin in my parks board and on my cast member board um and then there's that um and this last pin I put it with Disney World um even though I didn't really get it at Disney um, I got this at Company D, which is the cast member exclusive store, and that is where um, cast members can get cast exclusive merchandise. So um, when you see somebody with a cast member magnet on their car, it came from Company D. Um, that's also where we can get our lanyards that we can wear with our blue ID and stuff like that. But this was for um, the 48th anniversary of Disney World. I got it because I got to work on the 48th anniversary. So I was like, I gotta get it. Um, so it's super cute. I don't know how much it was. Uh, my last couple things from Disney World. Um, going back to Epcot, I got the Arendelle Aqua Spirit Jersey. So cute, and I wasn't planning on buying this, but it was raining one morning when I was at Epcot and my rain jacket was leaking in a not so family friendly um, or family appropriate way. So um, I realized that when I unzipped my rain jacket, I was like, oh shoot, like this isn't good. So then I went and bought um, a spirit jersey since this was right when our 40% off kicked in. So. I got it for only like $40, which was pretty great. Um, well, oh, actually I have a couple more things. Forgot. Next, I got these ears from Magic Kingdom. That's where I got them in the um, at one of the carts in Tomorrowland. They're just little gingerbread men and they're so, not gingerbread men, I don't know. They're little gingerbread Mickey and Minnie. And they're so, so cute. I love them. I wore these to just about every Christmas party I went to. Um, they were $28, I believe. That's how much all the ears are. But I think they have upped their the prices to $30 on, in some locations. So be aware of that. Um, also from Art of Animation from their little gift store in there, I got this Sebastian and I got him for a photo shoot. You guys can actually catch that video coming soon. I have an Art of Animation lookbook coming up. Um, but I got him for that. He's so cute. So, so cute. I don't know how much he was. Um, but I got my Art of Animation. And then my last couple things come from Galaxy's Edge um from my cast preview so first off i got these two little um almost rag dolls i guess you could call them i don't know but they were 20 dollars each which is a little bit more than i was hoping for but i got ray and kylo ren they're so great love them i went and met kylo right after my preview and traumatized him with this i was like hey kylo i should uh, if this video is not too long, I'll put the clip in right here. It's really funny. Um, and then lastly from Galaxy's Edge, um, this is kind of a twofold, but I got my wonderful, wonderful droid R19. Um, he was $100 to build. It is $100 to build your own droid. Um, I can get him out. Here we go. But yeah, he's so cute. Um, he's opposable, so you can have him back here and just kind of have him roll around. Um, he also has a remote and yeah. And then this backpack I actually didn't get in Galaxy's Edge because they were sold out every single time I went, but that is okay. So I can get him back in there. Oop. But the backpack um, actually came from Mickey's Treasures. And Rebecca just caught it one time. It was just kind of a lucky thing. So, just does that. But, yeah. So, um, and this is going to be, that's it for everything that I bought in the parks and resorts. Um, I have two more things that aren't really from Disney World. Um, but they go in with parks and resorts. So, my sister went to Disneyland. And she got me the Christmas spirit jersey. 
It has little snacks at the bottom, and the back it just says Disneyland, and it's in, and it's like little sugar cookies. If you can see it, that's what the letters are. They're little sugar cookies. They're so cute. I think they're sugar cookies. They might be gingerbread, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't decorate gingerbread that way. So. Mm. Um, and then the last thing she got me was this lounge fly from Disneyland. Um, it's so cute. We have the Cinderella Castle one here, but I really like this one better just because there's more, um, it's more colorful. It's not all blue. Um, and I just like this one, so it's cute. But that wraps up everything that I got at the parks. Um, now here's what I got at Cast Connection. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I've gotten at Cast Connection. Um, once again, Cast Connection is a store for cast members where they can get discounted merchandise. So first off, I'm going to start with my ears because I get most of my ears at Cast Connection um, just because they sell them for so, so cheap over there. You can typically get ears for anywhere from $5 to $8. Um, so first off, I have this pair. They used to have the Daisy on them. I have the Daisy right over there, but I ripped it out because I thought they were cuter without them. Um, but these were eight dollars. So so cute. Um, that's those. Next, I got these um, Americana ears. They were eight dollars as well. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um. And I also got these uh, Mickey ice cream bar ears. These were $5, I believe. Um, so, pretty awesome. And I've been wanting these for a good bit, so I was really, really excited when they came to Cast Connection. Uh, next, I got the Millennial, no, not Millennial Pink, Imagination Pink ears. These were also $5. Um, so... Yeah, I wasn't planning on getting these, um, but when they're five dollars, five dollars, may as well find something to wear with them. Um, and then lastly, these are my last set of ears in a way, but the um, Magic Mirror ears, I really like these, but if you can see, I also have those right there, right there. Um, so they're very similar, so I wasn't planning on buying these, but they were only $5 at Cast Connection as well. So I got these too. They're really cute. Um, and then those are my last set of ears really, but I have these, this Donald headband and it was only $3. So I figured why not. Don't know if I'll ever wear it, but $3. I was like, yeah, may as well. Donald and Goofy are my favorite from the Fab Five, so I got, um, it used to be just Donald, but I like meeting Goofy the most in the parks. Um, next, going back to, um, I've got, I wasn't planning on buying, paying full price for this, but I did like it. I thought it was cute, and then I found it at Cast Connection for $3.00. Um, it's the Illuminations Farewell Cup. It's got Mickey and Minnie on it, and then there's a little torch. It lights up. It's one of those cups, but it's cute. Um, next, what else? Oh, I got this Halloween pin. Um, the Halloween pin, because I worked Halloween, and it was only $7, so that's pretty great. Um, I also got this Goofy hand sanitizer on um, the other day, just because... It was three dollars, and I need hand sanitizer for my work bag, so I gotta remember to put that on that today because I keep forgetting. Um, next from Cast Connection for three dollars, I got this Iron Man bubble gauntlet. Um, there's no bubbles in it, but it blows bubbles, and then it also has these buttons on the side. Um, if you're left-handed, or if you just have it on your left hand, and it does fun things like. That. pretty cool for $3. That's awesome. Uh, next, I have two mugs from Cast Connection. The first one is this Cinderella mug. Um, it was $3 and it normally sits right over on my dresser and holds all my Sharpies. Um, but it's really cute. I'm going to take the tag off the bottoms eventually. And then this one was also $3. It's a 2019 mug. 
um i went to cast connection the other day and they had all this 2019 merchandise and since i started working at disney in 2019 of course i want all the 2019 merchandise but it's so cute so there's that um next i'm gonna go on to clothes and then i'll do the christmas stuff so i have first i got this shirt um back when Hollywood Studios was my home park. I saw this on one of my first trips to Cast Connection, so I had to get it. Um, it's got a little Disney World D on the back, and it's so cute. Um, if you don't know Hollywood Studios, it's not my home park anymore. Go check out that new location roll reveal video. It's super cute. It's only like two minutes long, and I think it's adorable, so go watch it because it's awesome. You can see where I work. Um, next I got this, um, Galaxy's Edge opening t-shirt, um, I think, mean, yeah, but it's, I think this one was like five dollars, like, it's really, really cheap, so, that was pretty great, because a bunch of things you see at Cast Connection, or a bunch of things that I get at Cast Connection, it's like, I like it when I see it in the park, but I'm not gonna buy it, um, so it's really fun to, you know, I'm not gonna pay thirty dollars for a t-shirt when I could get it for five but five you know and then my last piece of piece of clothing well my last piece of clothing clothing from cast connection is this hocus pocus spirit jersey um it was only nineteen dollars and it's so cute it's so sparkly I don't know if you can even see yeah you can see the sparkles it's very sparkly so there's that um, and then I have a couple of Christmas things that I got just recently, earlier this week, I believe, or last week, I don't know. When you guys are seeing this, it won't be, it's not, you know, I don't know. No, my friend. But I got this, um, bell necklace. It was $4. Um, so, super duper excited. Christmas is going to be so fun next year. That's fine. Or this year. I'll wear it to my family Christmas. Um, next I got this, um, Magic Kingdom ornament for $6, um, uh, but it's super, super cute. Once again, go check out that roll reveal, um, it says hand painted. Oh, huh. yeah, that's nice. But yeah, got this one, because I do work in the Magic Kingdom now. Um, and then last from Cast Connection, this was originally, how much was this one? Oh, this one was originally $26 and I got it for $6. And then this one was originally $27 and I got it for $3. Um, it's this 2019 ornament. Oh, um, so it's got Chip and Dale on it and it's really cute. And then I forgot, I actually have one more thing from Cast Connection. It's right over here. But I got this picture frame for $8. It says 2019 on it. Um, and I thought this would be really cute to put a picture from Traditions in here. Um, so, yeah. It'd be so cute. I have to go get pictures printed. I have so many picture frames that don't have any pictures in them because I need to get pictures printed. But, yeah. So that wraps up everything that I have gotten at Cast Connection. Now here's what I got at Mickey's Treasures. All right, so this is my last category. This is things, these are things that I've gotten at Mickey's Treasures, which um, as I said before, is the area of Cast Connection where all of the damaged stuff goes. So stuff, you can get stuff there for 75% off and then um, you still get another 10% off with your discount. So it's pretty great. Um, but first I got this Bolt plush. I've been wanting one of these like little, um, little guys. It's so cute because they're just so cute and they're in the little stork bags. It's, it's adorable. Um, but yeah, there's, haven't been able to find anything wrong with him at all. His tail is kind of flat, but that's about it. So yeah, I don't know what's wrong with him. Um, next, also, I got a lot of plushes from here, which is sad. <laughs> um, I got this Dale plush. Um, he's from 
Donald's Dino Bash over at Animal Kingdom and he was missing Chip so he got sent to um, Mickey's Treasures and together they were originally $30 which I don't know how much I got them for honestly um and then my sister went to Mickey's Treasures and found both of these guys but since they had been separated since their little tags had been um, separated um they were both there so um they were also originally thirty dollars together but um yeah they were a little cheap a little cheap cheap so it's pretty cute had them decorate had them out for halloween i think it's supposed to go that way i don't know but they're cute next from um Mickey's treasures. Well, I'm sorry. I'm losing steam here guys. Um, I got this slinky headband. Um, and the only thing wrong with it is he's supposed to have a little puff ball on his tail and he doesn't, which I didn't know that at the time. I didn't think there was anything wrong with him. So got him. Oh, he also has a little bit of fuzz coming out of his foot. So I'm going to get scissors and fix that. Um, next from Mickey's treasures. Oh, well then you can see it on here. I got um, this Linky. He's supposed to light up. I don't think he does, which I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, but he's cute. He just sits right by my bed. And that's like you can see on that. That's what it's supposed to be on these. So you can see the difference in their tails. But that's okay. And then uh, lastly, I got this shoulder porg for $5. The only thing, miss the only thing wrong with him is he was missing his little magnet that you used to prop him up on which you can go buy a magnet at Walmart so he was only five dollars or I can just plop him on my bed and he'll fit or he'll stay because my bed's metal so pretty cool and then my last thing that I have gotten at Mickey's Treasures was this Christmas party t-shirt have not been able to find anything wrong with it um yet so I don't know but it was originally $33 and I got it for $10, I believe. That doesn't make any sense. Less than $10. Is it 75% off? I don't know. Whatever math is with that. But that wraps up everything that I've gotten um, since becoming a cast member. So, wow, well, that was a lot. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, leave it a big thumbs up and go hit that subscribe button down below. Um, leave a comment, say hi, don't be shy, start a conversation. Also, if you like this video, be sure to go check out my other Disney hauls. Um, I have one from like mid 2019 and one from 2018. So those, I will leave those links down in the description if you just like watching hauls. I don't know. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. If you made it this far. You're awesome. You're a rock star. Um, hey now, you're a rock star. I don't know. Um, wow, I gotta get ready for work. So, that's what's happening. I will see y'all real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!